Hello all. Now here is TBSPRS or TBSPRS and he is the maintainer of the event far plan project for Android. I love it. I have to say I love it really. And he's now here in explaining and give a retrospective of what happened in the event far plan. And so I will hear what he's uh, telling us. Please start. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Um, I'm Toby. I live in Berlin. Um, I do Android, and uh, one of the projects is Event Fahrplan. Um, I like to give you an introduction about what happened, uh, in, or what is Event Fahrplan, and also what happened in the last year. I must say I uh, talked about this uh, before at Divok this year, uh, but since then a lot has, has happened. So. Um, this is an update, and, um, but it's also for beginners, so you, uh, if you don't know the app or the project, um, I will tell you. Um, what is Event Fahrplan? It's a conference app. It's kind of a general purpose conference app, so it's uh, um, been used at smaller and bigger conferences. Um, it's uh, there since many years, and um, uh, in this year, there have been uh, many conferences that never used it before, so the audience grew a bit. Um, the project is open source. It's uh, available on GitHub, and um, as you can see, it's written in uh, Java and Kotlin. Kotlin is taking over, and um, it's Apache uh, licensed. And uh, there's uh, people contributing besides me. Um, currently, I'm the only maintainer, but uh, from time to time, there's uh, valuable contributions, and uh, so can you. Um, and this app is also the conference app for this uh, very event. Um, there's other uh, uh, apps also, uh, but there's also this one, and um, you might have used it. If not, give it a try. And I like to uh, yeah, tell you what it's all about. But before, um, a bit of history. Um, I'd like to point out I did not create the project. I stepped in in 2013 and um, contributed ever since. I actually started with an icon. There was like a calendar icon that I couldn't like really figure out, so I uh, asked to replace it. And the former maintainer, uh, Tux Mobile, uh, replaced it. So that was my first contribution. Uh, this year, uh, a lot of people also helped. I, I'd like to thank especially uh, Katy and Matthias, uh, who have been active in the recent months and uh, helped me a lot with uh, getting this ready for RC3 uh, Nowhere. Uh, for, uh, further, I'd like to thank uh, people who donated uh, for the project and uh, the time or, and work I put into this. And um, I also appreciate people uh, giving reviews and ratings on Google Play so other people can see like, uh, if this app is uh, actually good enough to be installed. Um, so here's a short introduction. The, um, for me, special thing about the app is uh, this grid view that uh, you see when you open the app. Um, it allows you to directly compare uh, which sessions are uh, running in parallel, so you can choose and switch where you want. Um, and um, besides that, there is um, a, a function to, fa to put uh, favorites uh, on, like to favor your sessions, and um, and then organize yourself, pick your your favorite uh, talks, and um, and then uh, look them later. Um, you can export those uh, favorites uh, as plain text, or um, there's an integration with the Chaos Flix app, uh, which allows you to watch the videos later on Media CCCDE or on YouTube, and. Um, um, don't forget to use that, um, so later on if you watch the recordings. Uh, also, there's the alarm function, which wakes you up, uh, so you don't miss the talk. 
Um, you can configure the, the timing, so if you like, need some time to go somewhere or, or switch rooms on a, at a, a real-world uh, conference. And uh, also there's uh, schedule updates. The, the app um, downloads the data uh, on a regular basis and then notifies you um, if there's any uh, far plan updates or um, um, like a description or anything uh, like the speaker uh, changed or a session changed to another room. Um, this is then highlighted on the schedule changes screen um, so you actually don't miss anything. Um, but there's even more. Uh, you can export sessions to your calendar if you like to. Uh, you can share a session with other people um, it gives you the link and the description, but uh, also the time and the time zone, which is important if you're on an international uh, conference and people in other time zones, um, they certainly need the, the time and the time zone information. Um, you can give uh, feedback, which takes you to the website of the actual backend, which is pre-talks in, in this conference. And then um, you can uh, leave a comment and rate the talk. And I highly encourage to do so. Um, so please give feedback to all the uh, speakers. Um, on an in-person conference, there's the C3 navigation uh, project, uh, which navigates you indoor to uh, different rooms. So there's an integration with that. Not relevant right now, but um, in the future, I hope, again. Uh, Chaosflex, I mentioned that. And uh, last but not least, there's an integration with the Angle system. Um, so if you are an angel and you have shifts working here, then you can load your very personal shifts into the app. It shows up as an extra column, and then um, you, you know when to work, when to watch a session. Um, the app is currently available in 11 languages. Um, uh, it's uh, been translated into Dutch, French, and Spanish lately, like this year and, and end of last year, which became available in this version. And uh, very lately, um, um, a friend added Polish, which is uh, very nice, so thank you a lot. And um, yeah, please be encouraged to add other languages. Uh, this year, the app has been released uh, 19 times. That means like for one event, there uh, have been uh, several uh, releases. And uh, overall, there's uh, 10 events. And as I mentioned in, beginning, in the beginning, there's um, other conferences out outside of the CCC bubble, um, like the LibreOffice conference, which uh, was like an international but online conference. There was the FOS4G um, in Buenos Aires, and um, that's the uh, OpenStreetMap community. There was a Python conference in South Africa, and um, many more. And um, if you're interested to have the conference at your event, um, there's uh, like three backends that the app uh, works out of the box, which is FRAP and uh, PreTalks and uh, uh, waiver. Um, now I like to tell you about uh, uh, some highlights of this year. Um, there were um, some issues about scrolling. So when you navigate in the app, you open the detail screen and you navigate back. It's a bit annoying uh, if if the app jumps uh, to its position. So um, scroll position bug fixes uh, should be done. If not, let me know. Um, through the uh, international COVID crisis, um, it became very uh, obvious that time zone support is very important. And um, all the time information in the app um, are like, uh, compatible with, with time zones. So whenever you're in a different time zone and your device is, 
then uh, this should work. And you can even switch to your own time zone. zone. So if you are not interested in uh, the date and time information of uh, Germany, uh, then um, you can switch in the settings. Um, then there's uh, clickable uh, web and email addresses. This wasn't the case in, in the dis uh, session description. Um, now it's uh, automatically uh, highlighted and um, and uh, clickable, so it should be more convenient to actually like click on those. Um, there's a new customization guide, so if you are interested in providing the app uh, to your event, uh, please stick to this customization guide and please let me know if anything is unclear or um, you can't like handle it for, on your own. And translations, as I mentioned. Um, I also revised the setting screen. Um, there's like new description for each item and you can see the actual setting that is, um, 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 is current. Um, the session information that is shared to the calendar app uh, has been completed. There, um, there was just a link before and, and, uh, and like the abstract, and now you have the full description in your calendar. Mm, I worked on uh, accessibility a bit. Um, the session information um, read out uh, much better now on, on TalkBack. So um, if you uh, select the session in, um, in the overview uh, screen or in the detailed screen, uh, this should be much better. Um, one of the very big uh, workloads that happened this year is the architecture uh, rewrite. The app uh, had several issues uh, with updating data, and now uh, over the last months, uh, I switched to um, a reactive um, approach where the data comes from the back end, is pushed into the screen. You will uh, see updates when data is updated. There's nothing that you have to do. You won't really notice, uh, but I hope all the other issues are gone. And um, yeah, let me know. Um, the alarm screen is not ready yet. All the other screens, uh, speaking of uh, favorites, the main screen, the detailed screen, um, and the uh, schedule updates screen are updated, so um, this should be very um, convenient. And I mentioned that before, due to uh, other conferences, um, like the DEPCONF uh, uh, um, conference, um, I could add uh, waiver support. It's a Python backend, um, like, like Pretalks uh, as a backend for RC3, and uh, the app works with waiver too in the recent version. Um, now is the question how you can get involved. Um, I picked a few uh, topics, there's more. Um, and maybe there's something where you want to uh, join the project or just join it for one task. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, you could um, review the accessibility. I, I really look, I'm looking for a, a person who can do that, who can ac actually try that out and has experience. Um, please let me know if you're interested. Um, the detailed screen uh, could be redesigned. There's some information uh, that that are missing, like duration, and the icons could be re um, moved uh, to another place. Um, if you're interested to discuss this, please let me know. Um, I would love to have uh, code coverage uh, configured um, with uh, Jacoco, for example, and Sonacube. Then. It would be nice to have a search function and uh, to filter sessions. Um, it would be nice to um, set up GitHub Actions for running all the tests to build a project and uh, maybe deployment. Um, you can actually uh, donate to the project. Um, there's uh, 
like a profile on Patreon, on uh, LiberaPay, and on GitHub sponsors. And the app is still using some bitmaps in a few places for, for icons, and uh, those can be replaced by SVGs. This would also allow, it, allow um, to customize them much easier, um, like colorizing and putting like the, the, the theme uh, of the conference. And last but not least, it would be nice if someone wants to set up a translation uh, for, for the project uh, with tools like Transifex or WebLate or anything better. That's not all, as I said, but um, in the issue tracker, there's more. Um, please have a look. Uh, you can also leave your own ideas. Um, if you are not into creating an issue, there's maybe um, uh, a better place in the discussion board. Um, um, so you can choose if you write an issue uh, or, or first discuss things. And um, that's it. Um, there was a short introduction and a short overview of the last year. Um, I would be happy to see you uh, on the project. Uh, preach, please reach out to me. Um, either on GitHub or on Twitter. My handle is there on the bottom right, TBSPRS. And um, the slides of this talk will be available on SlideShare. Thank you. Hi, uh, thank you very much. Um, one question from the internet uh, is um, how does the uh, uh, event fab plan um, works uh, with other planning tools like uh, pre talks or um, other um, where, where the program is uh, yeah, coordinated? Um, the general setup is that uh, pre talks uh, is the um, like database of mm -hmm. all the sessions and um, um, what the app does is uh, downloading all the data in one file and then uh, displaying it. So there's like no, uh, inter like no modification of the content. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what pre-talk serves that uh, is what, what will be displayed. Um, I mentioned the translation, um, uh, there's 11 languages that means the app itself with all the text is translated, but the content comes from pre-talks. So mm -hmm. it's up to the back end, or in this case, pre-talks, to uh, translate uh, text over there. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I think and no more questions uh, till now. Um, so thank you very much for the talk. Everything is uh, licensed under a CC by 4.0, and it is all for the community. To download, download for everybody.